Welcome back guys, in this video, I'll show you how to create YouTube videos for free with Canva. We'll use a video script from ChatGPT, then record a voiceover for it using Flicky, and edit the video on Canva in 4 easy steps, all at $0. In my last video, I've shown you how to come up with a good video script like this on ChatGPT using good prompts. I'll place the link to that video and a script below which you can check out after watching this video. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I've gone ahead to shorten the script so we can edit it quicker. But before we edit, we need a voiceover. You can record it yourself or hire an artist on Fiverr to do that for you. Or you can take the third route of an Hey Hi tool, which we will use in this video. Inasmuch the voice doesn't sound too robotic, you are good to use it in your videos. So, a new tool I've found that does sound like humans is called Flicky. It's free to use and you can sign up at flicky.heyhi. I'll leave the link in the description below. And all you need to create a voiceover is to click on New File. Select Audio and input the name. Then click on Create. The next thing is to copy our script. But because I'm on the free plan, if I copy all of the text like this, I won't be able to paste everything at once, as each paragraph will be regarded as a scene on Flicky. That is so because on the free plan you can only generate 5 minutes of audio and 10 scenes per file. Although you can get up to 120 minutes and more scenes if you upgrade, what you can do to maximize the free plan is to join the paragraphs together, like this. So then, I'll highlight the script and copy it. And then paste it in the text box here. If you find a block that is too long, you can cut and paste it to the next block. To select a voice, click on this name, Sarah, and let's listen to some of the voices. Fleeky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. They have both male and female voices, including kids as well. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. I do prefer the voice of Davis, so let's use it. You have to check this box below to ensure it is applied to the entire script. You may click on this play button to generate audio for each block, or click the one on the timeline to generate it for the entire script. Did you know that recessions happen about every 8 to 10 years? In fact, the last recession happened not too long ago in 2020 during the pandemic. That's why in this video, we'll be discussing how you can make money during a recession and not just survive it, but come out stronger and richer than before. Whether you If you are okay with it, click on export at the top, then let's go to Canva. To create a video on Canva, click on Create a Design and search for Video. Then click the first result that has the dimension of 1920 by 1080 and you'll be brought to the editor. The first thing we have to do is to drag the voiceover anywhere on the screen wait for it to load. And then click on it. This will add it to the timeline and you can listen to it. Did you know that recessions happen about every 8 to 10 years? You can expand the length of the clip by dragging this handle to the right, and the audio will always follow when you do this. The next thing is to go to the Element tab and search for a related keyword to what you hear on the audio. So I'll search Recession. Then click on the Video tab to show you the videos only. If you hover your mouse on the result, you can see a preview of the clip and if you want to know what the video is about, you should right-click on it to view the name and the keywords. To select a clip, simply click and drag it to either the screen or the timeline. And if you find a better clip to replace it, you can also drag it on that clip and it will change to that. Did you know that recessions happen about every 8 to 10 years? In fact, the last recession happened not too long ago in 2020 during the pandemic. Now, the start of your video is very important, and if you want to have a better hook, the scenes at the beginning should only be for a few seconds, 
to prevent your viewers steering at a scene for too long. To make your editing faster, if you look at the audio wave, you can see when the script is being read and when it's not. So you can click on the silent part, right click to cut and select split page. The shortcut for this is to press the letter S on your keyboard. You can then go find another clip and drag it on that video to replace it. I will repeat the same here. Press the letter S to split and then click on the plus icon to add a new page. I can click and drag this forward and play the audio to know what this is about. Demic. That's why in this video, we'll be discussing how you can make money during a recession. It talks about money, so I will split this and go find a clip on money. I will repeat the previous steps and skip this video. I'm done with the intro, and as you can see, each sentence of the script is with its own clip, so let's play it. Did you know that recessions happen about every 8 to 10 years? In fact, the last recession happened not too long ago in 2020 during the pandemic. That's why in this video, we'll be discussing how you can make money during a recession and not just survive it, but come out stronger and richer than before. Whether you're a seasoned investor or someone who's just starting to dip their toes in the world of finance, we've got you covered. Make sure to watch this video till the end and take notes, because we believe the information we share will be valuable to you. Now, I'll find a related clip for the audio and repeat the previous steps for the entire script, then skip the video once again. So, I've done that and the next step is to add the texts. The first set will be the beginning of each section, and we can play this to listen. What is a recession? So I'll split it at the end of that heading and click on the clip. Then I'll add a rectangle here by going back to the element tab and drag a box on the clip. You can also add this by pressing the letter R on your keyboard. With the handle of the box and while holding the Alt key, click and drag to cover the scene and then change the color to black at the top. To add a text, go to the text tab on the left and click one of these. We can then go to copy and paste the heading here. Then select a font we like to use on this dropdown. And if you like to make it all caps, click this icon on top of the canvas. You can click and drag this handle with the Alt key to enlarge it as you wish and apply some animations to make it look appealing. To do that, click the animate button here and let's try some of this. You can control the settings here if you like but I'm gonna leave it at the default. Then we can play it. What is a recession? It's looking good, and the next thing is to repeat this on the other headings. However, to make your work faster, you can go to the next section. One, invest in real estate. Note the clip, and then go back to the first section. Hold the shift key, and click on the text and the rectangle to select both. I can zoom out to make sure both are selected. Then right click and click on duplicate. Then go back to the scene of the second section and drag the duplicated objects onto the clip. You can then go to copy the next heading and paste it here in the text box. One, invest in real estate. Investing in real estate. So, I'll repeat it for the next section and skip to the next step. The next step is to highlight some key moments of the video. This will book the attention of your viewers even more. For instance, this sentence. A recession is a significant decline. So I'll add a rectangle by pressing R on my keyboard. Expand it to fill the scene like this and choose the black color for it at the top. After that, I can click to add a text box and paste the sentence in it. Then I'll reduce the size and place it in the middle. Then, you can go ahead to change the font on the left to whichever you like. Next, I'll place it in the middle and resize it, and click on Animate. 
to apply some animations. We can go with this typewriter and leave it on Enter only. Then you can select the rectangle and click the shade icon at the top. Then drag the slider down to reduce the transparency. So, let's play this. A recession is a significant decline in economic activity, usually measured by a decrease in gross domestic product, GDP, for two consecutive quarters. During a recession, now, using the method I showed you at the last step, I will find more of these talking points, duplicate the first, and paste it at the relevant clips. Then I will copy and paste the sentences there and skip to the last part of this video. After you are done with the editing, you may play the video to preview it. And then click on Share at the top to download. Choose the MP4 format and wait for it to be downloaded to your desktop or mobile. If you've enjoyed this video so far, please give it a thumbs up, and a sub to the channel will be appreciated. And this is the final video. Did you know that recessions happen about every 8 to 10 years? In fact, the last recession happened not too long ago in 2020 during the pandemic. That's why in this video, we'll be discussing how you can make money during a recession and not just survive it, but come out stronger and richer than before. Whether you're a seasoned investor or someone who's just starting to dip their toes in the world of finance, we've got you covered. Make sure to watch this video till the end and take notes, because we believe the information we share will be valuable to you. What is a recession? Before we dive into the strategies on how to make money during a recession, it's important to understand what a recession is and how it affects people. A recession is a significant decline in economic activity, usually measured by a decrease in gross domestic product, GDP, for two consecutive quarters. During a recession, businesses struggle to make profits, leading to layoffs and a decrease in spending, which can have a ripple effect on the overall economy. In simpler terms, a recession means that the economy is not doing well and people are not making as much money as they used to. Prices of goods and services can also go up due to inflation, making it difficult for people to afford their everyday expenses. For example, let's consider the cost of a cup of coffee. During a recession, coffee shops may have to increase the price of a cup of coffee to maintain their profit margin due to inflation and decreased sales. This increase in price can put a strain on the wallets of customers who are already struggling to make ends meet. The most recent example of a big recession was the 2008 recession, where people who were not prepared suffered significant financial losses. Many people lost their jobs, and the stock market experienced a significant decline. However, those who prepared were able to recover and even come out stronger. Preparing for a recession means having a solid financial plan in place, such as having emergency savings, reducing unnecessary expenses, and diversifying your investments. By taking these measures, you can ensure that you are in a better position to weather the storm and even find opportunities to make money. Next, let's discuss some strategies on how to make money during a recession. 1. Invest in real estate. Investing in real estate can be a lucrative way to make money during a recession. According to a study by the National Bureau of Economic Research, the median house price during the 2008 recession dropped by 18%, making it an opportune time to invest in real estate. One of the most significant benefits of investing in real estate during a recession is that property prices tend to be lower. This means that investors can purchase properties at a lower price and then sell them when the market recovers. Additionally, rental properties can provide a steady stream of income during a recession as people tend to rent more and buy less during an economic downturn. Investing in real estate during a recession can also set you up for long-term financial success. As the economy recovers, property prices will likely increase, allowing you to sell for a higher price or earn more rental income. Overall, this can be a smart financial decision. It can provide an opportunity to purchase properties at a lower price, generate steady rental income, and set you up for long-term financial success. 2. Offer freelance services. 
Freelance gigs can be an excellent way to make money during a recession, as more people and businesses may be looking to cut costs by hiring freelancers instead of full-time employees. In fact, according to a survey by Upwork, 36% of the U.S. workforce freelanced in 2020, with freelance work expected to continue to grow. The amount of money that can be made through freelance work can vary depending on the type of service provided and the rates charged. However, according to a survey by Payoneer, the average freelancer in the United States earns $31 per hour, with some earning significantly more. One of the main benefits of offering freelance services during a recession is the flexibility it provides. Freelancers can work from home and often have more control over their schedule, making it easier to balance work and other commitments. There are many different types of freelance services that can be offered, including writing, graphic design, social media management, web development, and more. With the right skills and marketing strategy, freelancers can earn a significant income during a recession and beyond. There you have it. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can watch this video to learn how you can write video scripts for your videos fast and for free. See you there.